This is a story about my life. The life of a Christmas sweater. My first recollection as a young aspiring sweater was being displayed in the most coveted location of one of the most famous retail stores in the world. Most people don't understand the pressures a young sweater faces, hanging on the desolate rack, not knowing who is going to purchase me. Would I be able to live up to the greatness of my ancestors, who were worn with pride and dignity by some of the greatest people in history? Or would I end up being a victim of a sweater hater, who would simply wear me to better propagate their evil ideals? All this pressure can make a young sweater crack, but not I. I knew I was destined for greatness. Every day, millions of people would slowly walk by me as I hung on that rack, many longing to wear me. There were even a few people who tried me on, but they were obviously not the right fit for my greatness. Many of them frowned upon the size of my price tag and left in frustration. I was not bothered by being passed by. I knew I was worth waiting for. Then one day, it happened. She came out of nowhere like an angel that appears in your dream. It was love at first sight. She passionately grabbed hold of me as if to never let go. Oh, how I longed for that moment. The moment where purpose means passion and leads you to destiny. I finally had someone to belong to. We had many great times together, just me and her in the middle of nowhere, miles away from civilization, bonding as if one. I will never forget those days. She loved to take me places. We would go to some of the finest restaurants in town. Often she would invite her other sweater-wearing friends. Many people back then walked the streets in fear, but not her. I gave her a real sense of security. She was at peace with me around. Like a lion in the jungle, she fearlessly took on even the scariest of villains. It was as if I empowered her not to cower to evil, but to fight for the betterment of all. what I would do to be young again, spending my time frivolously doing whatever I wanted. Life was good, but I could never have imagined the pain and the toil that was just around the corner.